एयर रिफ्लेक्सिव रिलेशन सो हाउ वी कैन डिफाइन एयर रिफ्लेक्सिव रिलेशन सो इट्स अ रिलेशन आर इट्स अ रिलेशन आर ऑन सेट ए डिफाइंड ऑन सेट ए सच दैट for all a that is belonging to set a a comma sorry this is a comma a will not belongs to r okay so a comma a should not belongs to r this is this should be true for all a right just opposite to the reflexive relations definition now let us understand this with the help of an example let us say that we have a set a with elements 1 2 and 3 and if i'll say a relation r which is having ordered pairs uh, let's say 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 3 is defined so what is the definition of irreflexive relation that for all a a comma a should not be in r so uh, this is 1 so 1 comma 1 should not be there this is 2 So two comma two should also not be there. This is three. So three comma three should also not be in R. So here we can say we do not have one comma one. Neither we have two comma two nor we have three comma three. So none of these. So hence this R will be termed as irreflexive relation. Okay. Let me see. Show you one more example. Uh, if in the same case, let's say if I have R. With one comma one, one comma two, one comma three, and two comma three. So here we can say for one element one, which is belonging to set A, one comma one is belonging to R. So you can see this is here, and this is the violation of the condition. What condition says that for every element one, two, three, and for every element which is in A. A comma A should not be there, but it's here. One comma one is here, so this cannot be an irreflexive relation. This is not an irreflexive relation. Only this is an irreflexive relation.